lot of folks didn't realize just how many of the world's rare minerals used in manufacturing actually come from China. The rare earth metals aren't actually rare in the way that diamonds are rare. They're rare in that the pockets in which you can economically exploit them don't occur in very many places in the world. Over the last 20 years, for a variety of economic factors, Chinese production now accounts for 95% of the world's rare earth metals. So in recent days, what set up red flags? The basic problem is that rare earth metals aren't coming out of China. Some people say it's an embargo. Other people say the Chinese just need them for domestic uh, production. And there's kind of a third path, which is that the Chinese want people to make the kind of advanced electronics in China using domestic uh, rare earth metals. And I know Secretary of State Hillary Clinton got involved with this. And what have we heard from the State Department? Well, you know, the State Department uh, wants to just kind of check in with the Chinese. I mean, any kind of embargo that's going on is a shadow embargo. I mean, the Chinese are officially denying that they're stopping exports out of the country for any sort of uh, uh, geopolitical reasons. There really is no uh, paper trail that would indicate that they're really doing this. No, it's largely been reporting in the New York Times uh, on the basis of unnamed sources, suppliers of rare metals who are saying they're not being allowed to ship things. But that's why the situation on the ground is very, very cloudy right now, and it's hard to tell exactly what's going on. A lot of folks who listen to this are going to say, well, why can't we come up with them here? We could. In fact, we did. Uh, we mined uh, in California. Um, you can go look at the mine on Google Earth. It's still there. But, you know, it's hard. I mean, this is not a, a kind of Internet industry. You can't just, like, flip a switch and, and turn it on. It takes time to build the refining capacity. It takes time to build the mining capacity. It takes time just to build the entire supply chain. So the Government Accountability Office thinks it's going to take 10 to 15 years to rebuild the entire supply chain. Now, I don't think that the you know, Chinese are interested in destroying the world economy for advanced electronics, but I think that it's the sort of thing that it helps everyone if the United States starts pulling its own weight uh, insofar as uh, we have demand for rare earth metals, which we do. And perhaps that's the bottom line. So I think we'll leave it there. Alexis, thanks so much for your reporting. Thank you so much.